Zemu is far and away the best Xbox emulator out there, and in this easy guide, I will show you how to get it running on your computer. Then I will teach you how to convert games to the correct playable format. So let's get started. First, we'll head to the website to download the emulator. I have a PC, so I'll download the Windows version. The download won't take longer than a few seconds. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll install it onto my desktop. But if you want to install the emulator somewhere else, that is also fine. Anyway, now we can go ahead and create our Zemu folder. Then we can open the archive and drag its contents inside the folder. Now we can run Zemu for the first time. As soon as you start it up, you'll be greeted by a splash screen that urges you to configure the emulator. There's actually not much to do here. The general settings can be left alone. As for input, everything's pretty much plug and play. My 360 controller was configured automatically. The rest of the settings can all be left alone, so let's skip ahead to the system tab. And this is where we direct the emulator to its system files. Bear in mind that these files have to be provided separately since it's illegal for developers to include them. So here are the specific files you will need to make your games playable. I'm not allowed to give download links, but I will teach you a trick which will make it easier to find them online. I'm going to highlight the first line of text and then copy it. Now watch what I do. I'll open a new tab and type in Zemu, followed by the text which I will paste in. Then I press enter. The very first link should provide you with what you need. I won't elaborate any further. But once you have it, the downloaded archive should look like the one shown here. Drag all of the contents into the emulator's main folder. Now you have all the required system files installed. However, we still need to direct the emulator to the files. So start the emulator again, head down to the system tab and direct them one by one. Follow my example and you won't get lost. Once that's done, you can close and restart the emulator. If you see this screen, it means you're done with the installation. Now we can move on to the games. I have my games right here in this folder. They are in ISO format. To start playing, I'll just click on load disk and direct the emulator to the correct path. I think I'll select the Simpsons hit and run for this demonstration. If you realize that nothing's happening, don't panic. Just click on machine and select reset. Now the game will boot properly. All right, now that we're finally playing a game, let's have a look at the video settings. The UI scale can be left alone, but the internal resolution scale can be bumped up to whatever you like. I recommend twice normal resolution just to see what performance is like. In this guide, we won't bother with display mode and aspect ratio. Just know that there is a widescreen guide on this channel. So if you're interested, click on the link appearing on the screen. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.